the interrelationship between type 2 diabetes and magnesium deficiency is well established. A decrease in magnesium promotes insulin resistance. Insulin resistance promotes increased blood sugar, and increased blood sugar increases your risk of type 2 diabetes and the associated heart disease, hypertension, and cancer that comes with it. Over half of Americans don't consume the recommended daily allowance of magnesium. So magnesium deficiency is very common and is very easily corrected if we find it and take action. So having optimal magnesium levels prevents your risk of type 2 diabetes and cancer. Let's dive in today into some studies that prove this to us, specifically in the case of type 2 diabetics. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. Insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes is all about glycemic control. Glycemic control is your ability to properly regulate your blood sugar and insulin levels. If we drew it as an equation, we could say glycemic control is your ratio of insulin sensitivity to insulin resistance. Basically, the more sensitive your cells are to insulin when it knocks on the door to say, hey, open up, I have a sweet treat for you in the form of glucose, the more sensitive they are to that knock on the door, the better regulated your blood sugar is. The more resistant they are, so insulin knocks on the door of the cell and says, hey, I have a sweet treat for you, and no one's answering. Essentially, the cells are going la, 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 la. They're resisting that signal. The more resistant you are, the higher your blood sugar goes and the higher your risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, etc. So good glycemic control is exhibited by great insulin sensitivity. Poor glycemic control is exhibited by insulin resistance. Magnesium deficiency promotes insulin resistance and poor insulin sensitivity. We want to have sufficient magnesium, so we flip that equation and have great insulin sensitivity and low risk of insulin resistance. So how do we know that the magnesium does this in humans? Well, a study was done in late 2018 looking at type 2 diabetic patients and the impact of magnesium on their disease process. The authors took 40 type 2 diabetics and they did a randomized placebo-controlled trial with magnesium to observe does magnesium help the blood sugar markers in type 2 diabetes holding everything else the same. So they took these 40 individuals with type 2 diabetes and they first just um, put them on a stabilizing diet for one week because they wanted to start with all 40 subjects with stable blood sugar um, in terms of so that variable, excuse me, so that the, the variable they're controlling for is the magnesium. So they all followed this diet that was 55% carb, 15% um, protein, and the balanced fats. And they did that for one week. And those macros were made up of healthy foods, a, a um, my plate style diet. And then after one week, they divided them up and 20 of those subjects received 250 milligrams of magnesium a day, every day for three months, and the other 20 people were placebo group. They didn't receive the magnesium. So what happened? After three months of the study, massive changes occurred in both groups. We can say in the magnesium group, magnesium group, everything got better from an insulin sensitivity perspective. The hemoglobin A1C number decreased in all of the magnesium subjects. Hemoglobin A1C, if you're familiar with diabetes, is the marker that is your average blood sugar over the last three months. And that number, the higher it is, the more damage is occurring in your body and the worse your glycemic control is. So magnesium led to a drop in hemoglobin A1C or an improvement in hemoglobin A1C. The magnesium also led to a 
28% improvement in insulin sensitivity in the diabetes patients and a 22% drop in fasting insulin levels. So those go hand in hand. The more sensitive you are to insulin, the lower your fasting insulin levels will be. That's great. In the placebo group, they probably just stayed the same, right? Three months of eating a little bit better diet than they would have if they weren't in the study, they're probably doing better. And the results actually show that the placebo group got worse. Their insulin resistance increased by 39% and their fasting insulin increased by 28%. That's bad. Okay, so the type 2 diabetics in the placebo group that were magnesium deficient wrote, went downhill faster in terms of insulin resistance. Their cells were not listening even more to that knock on the door and their fasting insulin went up 28%. So if you're not listening, maybe the body produces more insulin to yell harder or knock harder on the door and they still don't listen. In relation to cancer, high free insulin levels have been associated with increased cancer risk. So we could say that there's an association between decreased magnesium levels or magnesium deficiency and cancer risk via the insulin mechanism. So this study goes to show is another one on the pile saying how important magnesium is, the connection between magnesium and type 2 diabetes, and the importance of magnesium for every person in the US, not just diabetic patients, but every person. Magnesium is one of the most common nutrient deficiencies in the United States and the American diet, whether or not you have blood sugar issues. If you have blood sugar issues and magnesium deficiency, clearly it's going to make those blood sugar issues worse and set you further down the road, faster down the road towards heart disease and cancer. So if you are not taking magnesium, magnesium is a recommended nutrient for all of us. Get yourself some magnesium. The recommended daily allowance is 400 milligrams per day. If you're deficient, it's likely you need more. If you need to know how much more or what you should take specifically to you, you should partner with a functional medicine doctor who can do the diagnostics necessary to determine your specific need and get you on the dose required for you to return to a life at Optimal.